Hello and welcome to Season 2 of Farming Simulator 2013. Let's play with me, Dare Tubbers. Uh, we are... We, <laughs> we were gonna... Well... Okay, so we left Kansas. We all knew we were leaving Kansas. We were heading for Wisconsin. Then the missus said, you know what? I was born in Appalachia. So I want to go back to Appalachia for a little bit. We've been to Kansas. I don't want to go to Wisconsin. So we're going to Appalachia. So we came here. We bought ourselves a place here in the Appalachia. Nice, nice view. I mean, look at that view. It's just beautiful. There's a blimp right there. You know, you think it better than a blimp. Uh, it's the Red Valley map, is what it is. And it's better than that. If you look in the description down below, there is a link to a Google Drive. And that download is this map set up as it stands this moment in time. Meaning, there's a 350v1 parked right here. All the fields are in the position they're in. And you have $2.8 million dollars. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that you can play along. Start this baby up. There we go. She's a little bit loud. We'll turn her down. There we go. Alright. So let's go exploring. And why did I choose this map? And why do I have $2.8 million? Because that's more money than I had when I left Kansas. <laughs> well, for a couple reasons. One, we would have had to sell the farm in Kansas. Um, government doesn't pay great but they do pay um, so we would have been paid for the farm and then coming here when you see the farm that we bought you will understand oh my goodness people come on let me out really this is like Euro truck come on hurry up thank you jeez These people. These people. Uh, they're going about 16. Uh, probably about 20, but whatever. I think the speed limit's 20. But look at this view. I mean, look at this beautiful, beautiful map. Bridge down there. There's another one downstream. It took me forever to figure out which direction the water was flowing. It's definitely flowing that way. <laughs> so if you go and download this map as it is from FSUK, all these fields are in their standard state, meaning cultivated, ready to go. That field has wheat on it. And you actually own that field there and that field there. So I went in and I seeded it all in grass and sold off all the fields. Um, I chatted with the mod author and he was okay with me sending, giving it to you guys on the Google Drive. So there we go. All right, let's pull into our farm. Stay open, thank you. Alright, so here we are at the farm. Turn the truck off here. So we have in this nice area here for storage of our vehicles. Nice. We've got uh, another large barn here, which would be good for our combine. So let me grab that. Um, another small storage area. This one, this is an interesting one. I mean, it's a relatively narrow door, meaning you have to actually have some skill in driving. <laughs> and the posts. So it's probably something I drive tractors in because y'all know how well I drive. So We'll see though. I might find other uses for that barn. Uh, fertilizer's over here. Here's our ferts. Fertilizer. Uh, here is our cell point for straw and hay. Which, you know, still has the problem of not, not being tall enough for those really tall stacks, but that's alright. There's a pull-through cover right there for everything. There's our silos there, all rusty up. Here's our potato and sugar beet storage. Nice. Uh, we've got, I believe this is seeds over here. Yep. <clears throat> There's our seeds. And this should be, the, yeah, here's our dump point for this. Thank you all. And we have another building here for storage. We got this big building here. So really, you know, overall a really nice farm. It's relatively small, but I think it's nicely laid out. Now, up on the hill here. 
hop over the fence. Whoop. <laughs> and we have the sheep and cow area. This is cows, I believe. It looks to be very cowy to me. So we're going go with that. I believe this is the sheeps. In here. <laughs> We've got a storage spot for grass, straw, silage, and forage. Which, that's really cool. Another storage area. Like that. We got, here's where our wool pallets go. Which is great because you could have a simple front loader here that just grabs a wool pallet, stacks it in here, and you can come pick it up later, which I like. Plenty of storage for more tractors along here. Um... There's two bunkers there for silage. And here's our manure bunker here. Down here we have our milking area. Now where I don't know, and I have yet to find, is where the uh, liquid manure goes. But I can probably find that. Can't be that difficult, right? <laughs> uh, I'm sure we'll find it at some point in time. Look at that hill full of grass hill. <laughs> And let's see, downhill here a little bit. I mean, look at the view. The view is just gorgeous. Just beautiful. Uh, here's our chickens. Uh, looks like we're going to need to get a coop. It. Well, actually, no. This is this is not a place where you have to do hunt the... Shut up, chicken. It doesn't look like a place where you have to really hunt the eggs. So uh, we might just let the eggs go out and just run around and grab them. I mean, that's that's nice. All right, so this is the farm. One of the things that really grabbed me about this farm, because a lot of you guys suggested various farms, and some of you suggested some really nice farms, and I looked at, I want to say I looked at almost all of the suggestions. Might have been a couple I missed, but what grabbed me here, well, what grabbed me was really the detail, the, the small attentions to detail, like what could be vines or kudzu growing on the, the building here. Um, the fact that everything wasn't new. It looked like it had been well used. I mean, one thing that drives me crazy is to trigger here for the gate. Um, he's actually been told multiple times in the comments he probably needs to adjust the trigger. But, you know what? That's a minor quibble. There's another issue with this map that I want to cover off really quick. Let's go look at, the, actually, the view of the map. So here's the map as it stands. Here's one bridge, old bridge, here's the other old bridge. One thing I want to cover is this field here, which is field 36. Down here in the southwestern corner, there's a hole to Narnia. It actually drops you through the map and you end up at the base level, which is equal to the, the bottom of the valley down here. Um, the mod author knows about it. We actually talked about it via email. Um, he, he said, just put it into Giant Editor and, and smooth it out. And I tried but I failed. So either I don't know how to use the editor or there's something else going on there. Um, it's big enough to swallow like a Ford 8340, but if you have a cedar attached to it, you might be able to save that Ford. Um, but there is a hole there. Just something to be aware of, to be alert for. Um, and he is aware of it. So I'm sure it's, I'm sure when he releases the next version, he'll have the, the hole to Narnia fixed. Um, when you see this field here, which is field 30, at least in grass, there's a huge dirt strip right across the middle. I think it eventually grows up with grass, but initially it looks kind of weird. That's just another texturing problem. It's minor, um, just something to be aware of. Um, and I think that's really, I mean, that hole and the, the triggers on the gates, I think are really the only thing that are sort of annoying about this map. Other than that, I really, really like this map. So let us, let's pull up our PDA. All right, so our selling points. We have the Agripoint, Banhof, uh, Brawlery, Freight Yard, Inn, Schlachthof, don't know what that is, and Zuko Fabric. So, I know where some of these are. <laughs> I was going to say most. I don't know where most of them are. Um, so... We're going to go and look. Now, I know that there's a point. I think it's right there. There's a bunch of them here. So we're going to check those out. And um, we're just going to actually pull up this. There we go. 
All right, let's take the fort for a little roll. Now, in the file that you download from the Google Drive, you're going to get this fort. Um, this is not the V2 fort. This is V1 with a modded engine sound. Now, why did I go with the V1 fort? I went with the V1 fort because it fit the size of this map. Um, and also its ground presence. That V2 for the way it flips so easily. On um, this map where there's a lot, he, the, the map author did a lot of work with uh, adjustments to the the roll or the terrain of the land and it, it upset that V2 Ford. So I want the V1 Ford because why not? It's a, it has great ground presence. Yeah, it doesn't have a fifth wheel. Yeah, it's a little bit small, but it sort of fits. Oh, something to cover. Um, interesting. The barbed wire, you can walk right through. The posts, you cannot. <laughs> Isn't that great? Foop. Foop. <laughs> Some of the trees, those ones over there, um, being primary, they phase through. They're, they're not solid trees. Now, I'm not a big fan of non-solid trees. It's one thing that really turned me off to the Two Rivers map that Stock always using. I don't like being able to drive through every tree. I want to be stopped by a tree. I want it to be difficult. Um, so, I didn't really like that. But, you know, what can you do? Here's our selling point for wool. Really nice selling point down by the river. A little barge can come pick it up. A little cool place here. Run around here. So watermill. I wish it had a sound. I wish there was a soundtrack to the watermill. That would that would make this stellar. Um, and then you know you're a farmer, so you can come out here when your fields are growing and your animals are animaling and fish. Nice quiet, quiet beauty of the uh, the river here. I like it. It's really neat. Um, and then there's a little a little house up on the hill. It's just just a house up on the hill. All right. Uh, I do wonder about if I if I put a bunch of old pallets on a semi, <laughs> this might be a difficult proposition. So I have to keep be aware of that. <clears throat> That's one thing I've noticed about this map as I've kind of played around with it. You really do have to pay attention to what you're using. Um, because this grass seeding thing, I gra this grass seeding thing was all done by me hiring a bunch of workers, basically. Um, and then I went in and edited files in order to make it normal again, <laughs> as normal as I could. So I just grassed everything up and then and then dismissed all the workers, sold all the equipment, and then changed all the, the data files. One thing I noticed was, you know, some stuff that you would use in Hagenstadt are definitely stuff you would use in, in um, Kansas. You just don't want to use here. It's just not going to work. All right, so this, I think, I th think, so this is an egg. Yes, I know it's an egg cell point. Go away. I thought it was the brewery when I was goofing around, but I'm thinking it's not. No, next. So, I'm thinking it might be the inn. Maybe. Definitely the pigs are over here. Now pigs, let's talk about pigs. <laughs> um, I was gonna, I was looking actually for various multi-fruit maps, you know, that had all the various other fruits. Well, what I found was that's actually relatively difficult to find and and in a way that I like. Long Castle is a decent map, but it's very flat. And and I wanted a little bit of a challenge of some sort. This map doesn't have any extra fruits. It just has the normal in-game fruits, but what it does have is it has the pig mod built in. Now, I don't know much about the pig mod. Um, in fact I don't even know how to buy pigs at this point in time. But I thought that this was, you know, Okay, so we don't have multi-fruit, but we have multi-animal. So, it's kind of a start. Then I saw, look at look at the price of pig. I can sell pig for $100,000 a ton. 
I mean, I'm presuming that a few pigs is quickly going to make it a ton because pigs are what 200 pounds a piece. So if you presume a thousand pounds a ton, I mean, five pigs is a hundred thousand dollars. Wow! I just have to figure out how to buy pigs. So this is the pig selling point. I think this is the inn. I'm not sure. One thing that drive that does drive me a little bit crazy about this map is, quite honestly, it would it could do with some. Um, signs <laughs> could really do with some signs because I get lost very easily but this is a neat I mean a neat little thing um, it's kind of up here and off in the distance so you know we can, pull, we can actually pull around here yeah we can look at all the the chairs oh yeah yeah this is definitely ah uh, yeah I think this is the end I think this is the end good all right so we got that sorted we have an inn now, needless to say, when I was seeding the fields, I wasn't driving around looking at everything. I was just literally going from field to field. Alright. So, let's go running down here. You can sort of see the field lines. See where the grass kind of changes a little bit. That's a pretty normal field line. We're going to drive across this field here. Often when you first seed these fields, there were actually, you'd find trails, paths in the in the uh, grass which is really neat because it's sort of like a discovery of oh this used to have a path across here and then the path was made to disappear like here's an entry point to this field right there that used to be an entry point um there's probably a, when i first sowed it there was probably a path running through that field but it's gone now um oop, i want to turn here okay Try, trying to pay attention to where i'm going there so these fields are relatively large, but they're not overly large. Um, and and as you can probably quickly tell, oh goodness, I'm going to try to go after this red car. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Thank you. Um, as you can probably tell, uh, a 770 Terra Track. <laughs> yeah, it's just not going to be an easy thing to do on this map. Some of the fields can accept a 770 without a problem. But getting it to and from some of these fields, that's an exercise in frustration, probably. More than you would expect. Um, these roads are narrow. Uh, some, of the, some of the paths that you have to take to get to some of the fields are really, really like backwoods paths. One thing I wish the mod author had done, and, and it's something that I, I encourage other map mod authors, when you, when you see these trees right here behind me, now that's a basically a JPEG image of flat trees. Stop making them pass through. Make them solid. Don't, don't let me drive through those with my tractors and semis and whatever. Alright, so here we are at the uh, biogas facility. That's pretty familiar. All that's familiar. Now we only have two silos, but quite honestly, except for at Kansas, I rarely ever ran more than two silos. Um, even in Hagenstead, I'd only run one silo at a time, so I don't see any reason for more than that. So that is fine with me. Traffic is clear. Go. Alright. So there we go. That is that. Now we'll just, uh, we're going to run over to... Uh, do I want to take the... Yeah, let's take this road. I'm going to cut this, carve that car up. Woo! <laughs> all right so this bridge over here so there's two old bridges here i really like them the detail on these bridges is amazing um, it definitely looks like something you know this used to be the main way across and now it's been replaced by that big concrete bridge but look at it all rusty it's missing missing some well no i guess those are some not supposed to be there anyway uh, okay another storage shed for us now this path leads us to field 21 Field 21 is literally off on its own. The only way to get to it is to cross this bri that bridge back there and this bridge up ahead. There's no other ways other than jumping off a cliff, which you wouldn't do anyway. So, um, here we come up to this bridge. Now this bridge looks like something that came out of one of my bridge project bridges. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, it's kind of fallen apart. There's, there's a girder, there's a girder. There's one that fell into the water kind of dangerous looking you know and there's there's another one that's collapsed <laughs> this just looks awesome so that field 21's over there we have another storage shed here um, this is the only way to field 21 
So the chances of us actually buying Field 21 are actually pretty slim because of its location. But it's a field, and it's, you know, kind of off a ways. Maybe if you mod the, the map to grow certain crops that are potentially illegal, that's the field to put those crops in. Not saying that you should do that, but just saying. Logic would dictate. All right, so we're going to run back. We're going to check out. So notice that there's four cell points all in a row up here. So we're going to go check those four cell points. I still haven't figured out many of them. <laughs> um, I have to make some educated guesses. All right, the only way to get over that bridge is to go up here to the main road. Hope no traffic's coming. Nope. And then we'll cross back over. I like that they also have billboards everywhere. There's there's billboards to the uh, John Deere here. Um, there's billboards. There's a billboard over there, I think, um, giving thanks to World War II veterans. There's another billboard for another kind of tractor somewhere. So it's it's actually pretty nice. All right, so here we come up to this one. Um, now, what is this building? I don't know. There's a water point right there, so you can get some water. But what is this building? I think, I think that this is the Agra point. I think. It's either the Agra point or the Banhoff. I think it's the Agra point, though. No, maybe it's the Banhoff. Not 100% sure. Anyway, this is one of them. Oh, there goes the milk truck. I don't know why, but... So this is the egg. I think is... I'm kind of leaning towards the Banhoff, and I'll... And uh, the reason will come become clear later. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, will become clear later. Okay, so this... Open. Is the uh, Zucco Fabrique. I know this because there's actually a sign over there that says Zucco Fabrique, and then there's a big old, big old pile of sweet uh, sugar beets. Mmm, sugar beets. Sugar, sugar, sugar. So we know where that goes. Let me get this back to the map. There we go. So that's the Zucco Fabrique. The one next to it, I believe, is the Banhoff. I'm not sure. Hey guys, you guys are just ridiculously slow. We're just going to go across the field because nobody bothers us. Alright, now this I thought was the brewery because it's got Guinness up there and it looks kind of brewery-like, you know? So I thought, this is a brewery, duh! But here's the thing. Come in here. Ripe and barley. So this place accepts canola and barley. There's actually no other sell points that I could find in here. So now if we check our prices. Look at that. Everyone accepts multiples. So if we assume that this is the, the brewery, it accepts barley. If not, I have no idea what it is. Just saying. <laughs> that sign confuses me, but whatever. Alright, so that's the brewery. Um, one thing that gets me is these gates actually have a little pretty late trigger. There we go. If, you, if you're going very fast, you end up punching into them. I love this building. I love this building. Look. <gasps> Whee! I can park my trucks in there. I can be in shelter. So awesome. <laughs> it's the little things. I mean, these are little details that really make this map, map pop to me. Alright, so here's our cell point. Or our, our cell point. Do our vehicle shop. Yes, thank you. Um, and this is the freight yard. How do I know that? Well, because I seeded the field behind it, field 25, which has a view of this area. And if I come around the corner there, you see the train tracks. Yes, this is the dairy. So this is definitely the freight yard. So that's the, that's the only one I am 100% sure of. There you go. Actually, I think I can make this climb. Put it in four-wheel drive. Let's go. There we go. Alright, so we're going to go booking across this field here. Because we're aiming for... Oh, let's see if we can make it. There's another cell point. See, it's just coming into view in the bottom left of the PDA. 
the only way to these fields, 30 through 37, is via this road here, which is a, a narrow little back path, which kind of twists and turns and weaves its way around. Look at the view. Look at that. That is some nice view. All right. So yeah, this is the only way to these fields back here. There isn't much in the way of storage for vehicles back here, which does mean if you once you work back here, you really have to to purchase some buildings, put them back here to store your vehicles, or you're storing them all outside. And I, for one, don't like storing my vehicles outside. But there you go. Field 30 is that way. We're going to go this way. There we go. So plenty of grass. Plenty of grass. Let's get in the cab for a bit. Yeah, plenty of grass. Um, and, I, and I really did it because I thought it looked really neat to, to have to make a decision about what I'm going to do with my fields um, instead of having them already pre-cultivated. Pre-cultivation is great, mind you, if you just want to jump in and go, but I wanted a little bit more of a challenge. So that's why everything is already sown in grass. If you want to play along and you don't want everything in grass, by all means, download the map from uh, FSUK. I'll put a link to the original map and and play along there. But um, the map that you can download from my Google Drive has um, oh, actually there were storage buildings. Has all of the um, the field stone and grass. So I think I think this is the Agrippon because that's just what I'm thinking. <laughs> Quite honestly, I can't. I don't know. Um, so this is another cell point all the way out here. Just look sort of, I don't know. I don't know. I just, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. I'm confused by that. Is this the Banhoff then? And the Agro Point's the other thing. I don't know. So there's some storage for your vehicles. I like how all the buildings look like they've been sitting here for a while. It's not like there's a bunch of brand new buildings sitting everywhere. All the buildings look like they belong. Like they've been they've been weathered. And I like that. I like the buildings to be weathered to really reflect what looks like well, weathered buildings, really nice older buildings. So there we go. This is the map. This is the map we're going to play here in season two. So we gotta we gotta set up our our goals and our rules and all of that. So let's start with well let's start out with a couple of rules. Rule number one that I'm gonna play under is no reset. So unless something is so badly knackered that there's no way for me to get it out, like I don't know, it falls into some crevasse that there's no way out, like it falls into the cold Narnia, for instance. Um, something that, that is a, a map defect or, you know, something like that. I'm not going to reset it, which means I need to have trucks out. I have to have, you know, trailers. And if I want to move stuff, I've got to load it up and drive it. So that's going to be, that's going to be rule number one that I'm going to play under. Other than that, I can't, I'm not really sure what else I'm going to do in terms of rules. Um, I am going to hire workers. I'm going to hire workers because, well, I like to hire workers. <laughs> um, and it's really hard as a single player to to do the workers. I will use course play if I can get it to work on these. Some of these fields, I just don't think I'm going to get it to work very easily. But there you go. Um, yeah, and we also need some goals for the season. Now, I don't think a windmill looks right here. And really, honestly, I could buy two windmills right now, I think. Um, which really sort of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? So, we have no debt. And windmills, I don't think, look right in this environment. So we have to figure out some goals. One thing I do want to do is work a little bit in animals. 
Um, we did a little bit of animals in Kansas, but this place seems to lend itself over to animals much, much more. So, come up here and stop the truck. Get out. Let's close that PDA now. Uh, I sort of know where I am. All right, so I think we're going to do animals heavily. I, I definitely want to try pigs, if I can get into pigs. Figure out how to use the pig mod. So, to that end, I thought that was an animal in my... Like, it, that looks like... See those two little things moving around in the middle of my field? I swear it looks like grass sharks. Dun dun, dun dun, dun 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 dun. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking animals. I'm also thinking buying this field here, which would be field seven, I think. Yeah. Field seven and leaving it grass and just like cutting it and uh, I could bale it or I could uh, collect it, whatever. This field, field six, I think would be a good field for constant hay bale stuff. I love the smell of hay, so why not? This field, which is field 13, I think would be a good field to plant maybe some bano banola. No, not banola. <laughs> Barley or wheat, because then we can get straw for our animals. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, but I am going to start this episode by getting some chickens. So we got our one annoying rooster, so let's go ahead and go to animals. And I'm thinking we're going to buy ourselves a hundred chickens. Because why not? What's a hundred chickens between friends? Alright, come on chickens. I wish there was a way to quickly like hit a button and choose how many chickens you get. But there we go, hundred chickens. There we go, we got a hundred chickens. Shut up rooster, I will get a shotgun mod. So there we go. And I like that there, you know, there's nothing going to grow in there, so I can't, I don't have to play find the egg so much. All right, let's get in the truck again. We're going to head to field seven here, because I'm going to go ahead and buy field seven this episode. And we're going to talk about what I think we need, what I think I want to do. And you guys can tell me, oh, you're a fool, don't do that, or no, that's a good idea, whatever. Um, field seven could also produce the stuff we need for um, silage as well. So we are going to have to silage stuff up. All right, field 7. These fields are going to be a bit expensive, so don't freak out. 107,000 for 2.39 hectares. Let's go ahead and buy that. So this is field 7. Let me turn the truck off. Now this is field 7. It is now our field. Beautiful looking field. You can see sort of what it was, a road going up there. It's actually grass if you get closer. All right, so what I'm thinking, this is a good field for just grass, for sheep, because we can go ahead and, and mow this one, collect the grass, and give it to some sheep and have like a couple hundred sheep, 200, 300 sheep. What I'm thinking here, you guys kind of tell me what you want. Um, first off, let me let me cover this. The case CVX-175 and the, the new Holland T7550 are not going to come on the farm. They're cultivating wheels, just destroy the grass. And that's silly. It shouldn't destroy the grass. Um, grass rebounds very well. So um, I'm not going to run those tractors. I'm thinking the New Holland 8970. Um, looking through here because this is overkill. The class they run. Um, and I want something with a front three point. So that kind of that excludes all of these Fords here. It does mean I could use the Ford 8340, but we already used a Ford 8340. So I'm not thinking that's a good one. Um, I could pick up the old Schluter, 1500 TVL. Um, I could get the Dutzfar 120 MK. But I'm sort of I'm sort of feeling this New Holland 8970, and the reason I'm feeling the 8970 is if I go forward to mowers, I want to get a mower. And I'm not going to get old time mower because, well, this is a big field. I'm not even going to get a bush hog because it's a big field. What I'm thinking is these Cavernland Tarup 
mowers. I'd get a butterfly mower and a front mower, put it on the uh, the New Holland uh, because this uh, lines the has the the lining thing, the um, swathing. That's the word I'm looking for, the swathing. Because it has a swathing, it'll go ahead and swath it out for me. And then get the Cloth Quantum 3800K. And I can use that to feed my sheep. And then I can pick up the kid, wherever the kid is. I, I don't remember where, wherever the kid is. Oh, it's over in Harvesters, whatever. I can pick up the kid and, and I can keep cutting and, and loading up a bunker for for silage. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the New Holland, the tar up mower, and the um, the cloth quantum would be good. And a couple hundred sheep would be good. And then I would kind of go from there. Kind of decide what we're going to do. So there we go. Um, I think I think I'll end this episode here because, well, we've explored the map. We kind of have sort of an idea. I want you guys to 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 think about, you know, do we want to go New Holland with that New Holland tractor and and the tar up mower and and the class quantum? I'm really feeling that. But if you think there's a better way to go about it, by all means, let me know. Um, so again, the map as it is sit sitting when we started with the Ford truck and and word of warning about that Ford truck that is a modified Ford truck so if you already have V1 this is a modified version of the V1 I don't know how the game will react if you put this map in without the modified Ford so just be aware of that that you can certainly download this this will go into save game 5 if you unzip it as it is if you don't want it to be save game 5 well figure out how to make it another save game all right, so until next week, when hopefully we'll actually start doing some farming, then Dare Tevers, here in Red Valley, we'll call it Appalachia, playing Farming Simulator 2013. Till next week, bye.